Yeah. I'm not sure I, why. I think this is quite interesting actually, because I think these, this stage actually benefits these two characters in very, very different ways. Yeah. Pac Man does have these boxing tools, right? But Sora really can uh, sort of abuse the luck in space here and throw out that big sword, right? Yeah, and three, really make use of the You know, you've got three, three chances to. to Hit the weave. Even if they shield the first one, you got two yeah. more to mix up with sort of Tekka style strings. Mm. Or, I'm sorry, Kingdom Hearts style strings. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where's my horizontal slash? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah we're seeing uh, Kitsu hang out quite a lot in this platform. Mm. But of course, Gallagher really just oh, yeah. loops around, really good at covering that platform. We got a setup here from Bebe. Yeah. Really good. I like that. He saw yes. the trampoline, used the side beat, because obviously, who's going to shield yeah. that? Who's going to shield that? Who's going to shield it? And even more importantly, who wants to interact with that? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, maybe it's, uh, that's definitely one that maybe wants to sit back on and see what the opponent does and keeps it with the correct call out. Yeah. See, uh, Kimsey I think just helping to sort of uh, try and discourage the jump option so far. Absolutely. Was that a counter? No, that, that was a counter. I think trying to hit it on the water. He's trying to hit the hydrant. I'm not sure. Yep, and that's going to be stopped from the bell. Absolutely. The first time we see Bell and Elisa a kill, we're really good projectile. It's one that you've got constantly out of your mind. Uh, yes. Especially if they're in that later charge. Yeah. Can we talk about that set from Baby? Again, uh, 57 set and three ledge trapping. Absolutely. You know, new character for Kimsu. Kimsu obviously a really strong player, but a new character. You're definitely going to see. Yeah. And struggle a, in some ways, yeah. but really succeed in others. That's a big thing as well, because with some characters, you're going to... I love that. that I, I, I've not seen a lot of Pac-Man. Maybe that's just standard, but I love that down throw on the bell to get that yeah. down smash. Absolutely. Fantastic. I'm just seeing Baby just sort of like take control. Mm. Absolutely. Smash will definitely yeah. really good for these kinds of characters. Even though it is small, they've just it's split oh, really good. nicely into two sections. Yeah. And even then... Really reliable uh, strings with the Ragnar as well. Mm. Racking up the damage, understanding what moves are sending, what distance are these, and low percent. Mm. Absolutely. So, Kibbs is definitely looking for a kill here. Uh, this is all extra credit for Bay Bay. Yeah, and look at how much and extra credit you've <laughs> still got to work yeah, with. Whole stock plus the best number. Yeah. 78. <laughs> Love that number. Fantastic <laughs> down slash as well. Yeah. And I'm loving the, the use of hydrogen here as well. Saying, you no, know, I don't want you to recover low, you've got to come up to me. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah, absolutely. And Baby is definitely on the come up here, really strong player. Yep. And the boosted roll yep. to get round that, that electricity. Yeah. Not quite soon enough to, to get a punish, but really good uh, stage position yeah. there. Yeah. Big damage from uh, Kimsey there. It's definitely not a deficit. It's not an impossible deficit, but Kimsey's going to have to put a lot, lot of work. hard work. But we've seen sillier things with Rage before. Mm, absolutely. And there and we like go. That, for example, one of the best counters in the game. Absolutely. Kimsey just cannot get hit by a back air here. Or yes, off stage is not too bad. It's obviously one of the best recoveries in the game as well, but a great setup. Another oh. setup, yes! Jumps into the Hydrant. Yeah. But what else do you do there? That Hydrant is getting dangerously close. Because it's off the screen as well, so you can't see how high it's gone. So you don't know if it's going to land on you either. Absolutely. You have to make a decision right there. Uh, the baby had just thrown the apple up, so maybe a roll was, was possible, but it wouldn't have been a good situation either way. Yeah. And even then, you still have to don't have the time to make that decision, so... <clears throat> Yeah, because 140 odd percent, your invincibility is going to be nothing. Yeah, that hydrant's exactly. going to come hit you or a down smash. But the same character's coming out, not sure what the stage is, wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. Same smash fell again, yeah. Same stage. Kimsu I mean, not face. Yeah. Kimsu was kind of doing pretty good on that uh, second spot there. So I'm not that surprised by this. Mm. Absolutely. Sometimes you just got to realise, you know, it wasn't the stage's fault. It's just something you got to yes. do a little bit better, uh, a little bit differently, a little bit like, better. In a lot of cases, it's going to be warming up to Pac-Man as well, and getting used to the matchup itself. Because in a lot of cases, it's not just learning how a character plays, it's learning how the character actually interacts with your own as well. Yeah, so especially and with a new character, new like, character like Sora. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to take a bit of time to go, okay, this is how Gallagher will interact with my Keyblade and so on, so forth. This is how I need to play around Hydrant with how floaty I am. And we see Gibbsy taking a lot more back seat. Almost a minute in and only 58%. Yeah, 
tag on to him at the moment now. And oh, nearly a big combo there. Maybe yeah. in a really bad spot now. Oh, but not qu not quite the optimal capitalization. You don't. Mm. Maybe a little bit more damage there would have been good, but of course, don't want to risk it too much, especially when it's not. It's nobody's really. It's, it's fairly even. Yes. And look at that really good thunder. And the counter. Counter. the counter. But that came from that thunder right there. Absolutely. Catching the um, side B up and basically forcing Baby to get that sort of lowish recovery. And of course, one of the. Oh! oh the bell. No punish on the bell! Yeah, it's waited just a bit too long, but that was the stock as well to call it even. Kibbs is going to try and get as much damage here as possible. Yeah. But it's really hard to ledge trap with the with the punch right it's there. It's going to be moving you around. Yeah. You almost want to block it, but. Yeah. yeah. And as well, you've got to be careful because that's going to adjust the roll distance as well. Absolutely. Yeah. See so down air come out as well. Maybe yeah, we need to take this up pretty early, otherwise, they're going to have to put a lot more work in later. And this Thundaga doing so much damage. There we are. Good parry. Only a back throw. Yeah. Um, Pac-Man smash attacks are quite Another slow. Set of and I love that decision. Absolutely. Right. Forcing Baby to go to center stage to make the decision. Which side are you going to? Uh, reminiscent of, of Diddy Kong. You can do similar things with his, his barrel charge. And the freeze off stage. Really yeah. bad spot for Baby here. He's got the fruit in hand. Doesn't recatch that. Yeah. So Baby's got it back. Okay, he's got to get out of this corner really fast. And as I say, with the with the Weebly set, that, that fire neutral be so much frame advantage. Mm. And a nice back yeah. air. And now we see a reversal from what happened game one Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Maybe it's going to need minor miracle here. Uh, not not undoable. Uh, again, and again, loving the hydrants here. Yep, and look at that. Well, Ford Tilt not take it, but I still love the idea. And Bell in hand, really scary yeah. here. Oh, oh air dodges oh. by accident, trying to get a wave land, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And the F Tilt is going to take it, though. Yeah. So not too not, not too, hot, too many hard feelings on, uh, on yeah. missing that punish. And I love the decision there for the uh, Gallagher up to try and get back to stage as they do. Good man, absolutely. So careful neutral here. Kimsu doesn't really need to interact here. And Bebe saying, just calling out that first hit, you're not going to do a second one, you're going to wait because you've got, yeah. you're down on, you're up on percent and the stock, so you can play a little bit more patient. Yeah. No reason to um, take the uh, super unsafe option. Put yourself yeah. in more end lag. And, yeah. Baby is the one that's got to make something happen, and Kibzu knows it. He's playing yeah. a really reserved game here. Yeah. And look at this, playing at ledge and then trying to Ooh. avoid interacting with Gallagher, but this Gallagher is probably what's going to make this uh, comeback for Baby right here. Absolutely. And Bell's so strong, oh. Bell's so strong that she opts to go off stage and put herself in a ledge trap situation just, just to get, get it. it. Yeah. But, and look what, that, look what that's done for her. She's a ton of damage in a really good spot. Basically, uh, reversing the ledge traps is just from being able to charge that bell and use it effectively, right? Absolutely. But Kipsy with the, I believe that was down throw up there. Um, the down smash, just in case yeah. baby got a little bit greedy there. Yeah. And look at that positioning there with the. Uh, Third hit of the trampoline and the hydrant there. So, so difficult to get in. And there we go, the upbeat. Not quite killing. Not as good as something like Lynx. And Lynx a little bit faster as well, but obviously you get the side B cancels to make it a lot safer. Mm. Oh, if Baby just threw that orange there, I think that would have been the stop. Yeah. But allows that part of the stage. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, here we go. Bellows on deck as well. Oh, and throws, throws it throws away. It. I'm not sure if they're trying to hit the. Hit the ledge, but gets the backer anyway. And here we go. Gallagher out as well. <laughs> the the ledge trumping. The first one we've seen today so far on this commentary slot. Absolutely. Ledge trump yeah. back here. A classic. Yeah. An absolute classic. I know you said it once today, but that was a nice back. That was a nice, <laughs> two nice back. Two nice, two nice back. <laughs> we are good at commentary, ladies and gentlemen. Trust us on that. <laughs> uh, we haven't gotten to the... They didn't let my man's breeze part yet, that's coming up. <laughs> you know, I think this is quite a volatile match. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I was about to say, I would not be surprised to go Smashville again. Yeah, similar situation with the Dockers or match. Both people won on it, so it's definitely doable. And no Joker, we're going to only see Sora for Kimsey for the set. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, uh, brilliant set. Last, last game, unless you can keep yeah. it up, or can Bebe strike back with that game one? Yeah.
game one strategy. And the interesting thing as well, so game one, Bebe got the lead three stops. Game two, Kimsu got the lead three stops. Both games, both went down to last stop. Absolutely. So, what are we going to see this time around? And I really like the, the, it's a little bit earlier now, but the, the sort of Tipman up air. I'm not sure if they could pack my men's call the hitbox yeah. to Tipman, but really nice angle on the Hydra. But it's Kibsu that's got the lead at the moment, and a really good advantage save. Yeah, and that positioning as well, not actually working out Baby's favour with the Hydra and Kibsu on the other side of it. Yeah. Nowhere for Baby the route to go. You know, if we're on about ledge trapping, the water making it difficult, there's going to be no water if you use the hydrogen to your advantage. Yeah, exactly. All of a sudden, the wall is on the other side. What the hell are you going to do about it? If you showed somebody who maybe didn't play Smash, then maybe saying that hydrogen is, is sore as well, because Kibsu has been using it a lot better and a lot more yes. advantage way than uh, Baby has. So far in this game, at least, yes. Yeah, absolutely. See, um, I got hit by that. Yeah, I was I not expecting <laughs> that to go through the stage. <laughs> I, I was literally about that. to say the exact same thing. <laughs> there we go, the neutral B dash attack, really strong. Um, and look at this position from Kibzu as well. That going low down. Oh, I'm not up smash. Yeah. Is that a toilet run up tilt? I'm not sure. <laughs> I've got. <laughs> there we go. Baby needs to. You should really bring it back. Um, you know, Pac-Man can get some really early kills with this, with a really good setup. You can pick the wrong option. So, but it's obviously Kibsu that can take a step back and really get yeah. some extra damage on the board. And so, with Magic actually paying uh, dividends right now for uh, Kibsu, really making good use of it, basically forcing the wall. Uh, adjusting the damage on this uh, hydrant, right? So, Baby has to think a bit more about what can be used, and as well as interrupting the fruit and uh, ledge trapping as well. Really loving the uh, use of magical computers. I see Baby have a little bit more stage there, so he can charge behind the hydrant rather than going off stage. But I wonder if that's. Oh, yep. Bell, no and punish. We saw that earlier, which uh, Kimsey Shield did not uh, ready for it this time. Mm. I wonder if, if I feel like maybe it's spending a little bit more time charging than, than maybe she should. She, she yeah. really needs to take the initiative here, get this stock and work from there. Yeah, and look at that. That roll was so scary. Kimsey was just standing still. And again, I've noticed it as well. Maybe it's hit this wall, so she's hitting the hydrant, and then immediately shielding once it goes over Kimsey. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely fantastic there. Yeah. And all of that F tilt into yep. the preset hydrant. Not sure, I think that was more of a, a taking advantage of the situation, the preset Absolutely. setup. But still fantastic yeah. uh, awareness. Re awareness and game knowledge, right? Of Absolutely. your ca specifically character knowledge. Really, really good. I was wondering if we were going to see some Nair loops there. Um, yeah. But I only got two reps in. Oh, and I loved the idea there from Kibzu as well. I mean, the back air is, the hip down there, sorry, is, uh, is huge. It's absolutely huge and potentially plus on block yeah. if you do it right, I believe. Mm. They are. I wonder if that's some really good SCR up and away, maybe? Yeah. Really good. I think the Hydrant had uh, a little bit of time to play in that as well. We go and that's so dying oh, off the top. That was it's 80% from, yeah. the, from the from the from the thunder. I looked away for a moment to, to look at the top. Look you. No, sparks. Any no sparks, no end yeah. screen. I think I was just maybe oh, got caught holding in for just a little bit. Really, really. And good. Here yes, we go. Here we go. Here we go. Absolutely. We have Jaman Whale Zone. The one person we want to see on stream today. <laughs> it the is man, the myth, the legend. Jaman. Now, where's the flag? Yeah, we do need the. F <laughs> no. Anyways, you'll have to excuse the commentary. You might be hearing a couple of ooh. <laughs> we are currently in Wales commentary mode, and I mean you'll probably hear it from the crowd as well. Yeah, exactly. Jaman is it's the people's champion. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if Zoroya is our protagonist, Jaman is the. Uh, I don't know the word for it. People champion. People champion. Everybody exactly. loves Jaman. Yeah. Everyone loves Jaman. Nicest guy. <laughs> I was about to say, how is Jaman? Why is Jaman looking for a thumbnail? 
Disconnect your pro controller. Disconnect your pro controller from screen, please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 